Hey guys, the power goes out. What is one of the first things that comes to mind? The refrigerator. Your food is going to spoil. So we've got this 300 amp hour battery, the Lee Ski inverter. I wanna see how long we can run my full size refrigerator off this 300 amp hour battery. Now it's fully charged, 100% state of charge. It is 7.54, Saturday, October 29th. So let's start up the inverter. Okay, I hear the refrigerator coming on. We are drawing 188 watts. 186 refrigerators on we're back in business guys all right I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours I want to see where the state of charge is we're still uh, around 100% in discharging be curious to see uh, where the wattage cells down at is it going to continuously run at you know 186 watts all right, guys, we're going to let it run and uh, for a little bit and come back and see what it's doing. Look at this. This refrigerator <laughs> is idled down and it's currently only using like seven watts. And this is that's probably just like the idle consumption of the <laughs> inverter. So this is like a, I don't know how efficient this refrigerator is, but clearly white now I'm sure that that jumps up um, if the when the compressor comes on so this 300 amp hour battery may run this refrigerator for an insanely long time all right all right guys the time is now 7:41 p.m. So roughly 12 hours later from when we initially started this test and we are at 71.2% state of charge. Uh, so we've got uh, 220 amp hours remaining. We're currently using 122 watts. So at this point, we could possibly end the test and say that it'll go a total of 36 hours because we're roughly uh, used one third of the battery. And um, But I don't think that's totally the case because as we noticed whenever we started the test this early this morning, uh, nobody had been using the refrigerator, so it was just, it hadn't seen very much use over the night when everybody was sleeping. So I think that's why we saw such a low uh, power draw in the morning. So it stands to reason, now we've been using the refrigerator throughout the day. Everybody's been in and out of it, um, opening the doors and standing there looking at, just trying to decide what they want to get out of the refrigerator. You know how this goes. So it's been working hard throughout the day, but when everybody goes to sleep tonight overnight, I think this wattage uh, that we see here is going to go down. So we might end up getting more than 36 hours out of it. So anyways, just a little update there and I'm gonna let it continue to run. We'll let the test continue to go through because of we got a pretty good idea that this will calm down in the power usage over the nighttime hours. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. So it is Sunday, October 30th, 8.33. So slightly over 24 hours, like 24 and a half hours right now. And we are pulling 20 watts or nine now. Let's see. Nine point nine six watts. 
So as I suspected, the refrigerator went down in power over the over hour nights when people aren't using it. As a result, we are only down to 50.6% uh, state of charge. So it uh, used a, uh, a lot less power. So where we were thinking we were gonna get 36 hours of total runtime, if this thing isn't used in for a portion of that time, then it's going to actually run longer. So right now, this pretty much tells me at this level of usage in my household, <laughs> where we have three adults and a child, this should run 48 hours. Anyways, just wanted to do a little update there. I'm gonna let it keep running anyway. I assume Monday morning, it'll be basically be complete. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow morning. All right, guys, here's my dilemma. It's uh, 11 o'clock Sunday, October 30th. Uh, 11 o'clock at night. We're at 7.41% state of charge. So we've we've ran for about uh, 39 hours so far. Um, so the dilemma is, is that I've got to go to bed. <laughs> and do I think it will continue running by the time I wake up? I don't think it will. Um... If it continues to run at, you know, uh, 15 watts or, you know, 1.3 amps, it definitely will because we have uh, 22 amp hours or 22.8 amp hours left. But uh, I, I probably sometime during the night, this is this watt's going to kick up to, you know, the over 100 when the compressor kicks on, it's going to drain down. Um, it's it's possible that it will, but I I don't want to wake up in the morning and everything to be shut off. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and kill the test because I can't babysit it all night long. I got to go to bed. So we've definitely gotten to 39 hours. I would say uh, worst case scenario. It probably has two more hours left. Best case scenario, it runs all the way to the morning when I wake up. So it could be, uh, you know, we could get 41 hours total or we could get, um, you know, the 48 hours. So anyways, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill the test. And... Um, shut it down because I like I said I can't babysit this thing all night long I got to go to bed because I got work tomorrow anyways so that'll be the end of the video guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed it hope this gave you some kind of insight to what kind of battery or what size of battery uh, you would need to run your refrigerator your full-size refrigerator uh, and how long you could run it for in the event of a power outage um, this is a G, it's a GE refrigerator. I don't know the specs on it. So it's a model GFE 26 JSM AFSS. I'm not sure the total size. I guess you guys can look it up if you want to. But anyways, there you go. That's the end of the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.